Hello, and welcome to our introductory course on the Scrum Body of Knowledge, or the SBOC Guide, a definitive guide for Scrum and the rules for the game. In this session, we will look at the processes that are part of the plan and estimate phase. We will also discuss the key inputs, tools, and outputs associated with each of the processes. The processes that are part of the plan and estimate phase are create user stories, estimate user stories, and commit user stories, identify tasks, estimate tasks, and update sprint backlog. Plan and estimate phase, as defined in a guide to the Scrum Body of Knowledge, or the SBOC guide, is applicable to the following. Portfolios, programs, and or projects in any industry. Products, services, or any other results to be delivered to stakeholders. Projects of any size or complexity. Before we discuss the processes in detail, it is important to remember that although all processes are defined uniquely in the SBOC guide, they are not necessarily performed sequentially or in isolation. At times, it may be more appropriate to combine some processes, depending on the specific requirements of each project. Let's begin with understanding briefly each of the processes that is part of the plan and estimate phase. The first process is create user stories. In this process, user stories and their associated user story acceptance criteria are created. User stories are usually written by the product owner and are designed to ensure that the customer's requirements are clearly depicted and can be fully understood by all stakeholders. User story writing workshops, which involve Scrum team members creating the user stories, can be held. The developed user stories are then incorporated into the prioritized product backlog. The next process is estimate user stories. In this process, Scrum team estimate the effort required to develop the functionality described in each user story. The next process is commit user stories. In this process, the Scrum team commits to deliver the customer requirements in the form of committed user stories. Another process that is part of plan and estimate phase is identify tasks. In this process, the committed user stories are broken down into specific tasks and compiled into a task list. The next process is estimate tasks. This is an optional process which involves creating task estimates if the Scrum team sees value in doing so. In this process, the Scrum team estimates the effort required to accomplish each task in the task list. Task estimates could either be determined at the beginning of a sprint for all user stories and tasks relevant to that sprint, or for each task just before the team starts working on the particular user story or task. The estimation can be done using the same methods that were used for the estimate user stories process. The last process in this phase is update sprint backlog. In this process, the Scrum Core team updates the sprint backlog with tasks and details and, if available, the task estimates. The updated sprint backlog will be used in the implement phase to track the team's progress during the upcoming sprint. Thank you for learning with us!